Here's a really simple one we did the other day. It's just combining two different motions that we've done. Um, so one is just for your abs. It's like a plank where you come up and you change hands and you for your elbow and you're stabilizing with your all your abs all the way through and your hips. The other part is what I call judo twists because I was taught by a judo player uh, a long time ago. And it's a really, really nice one. So we're just going to combine the two of those. So part one, I'm going to break it down into two distinct units. Then we're going to put the whole lot together. So part one is I'm going to be here, hands under the shoulders. Yeah, so I'm going to one elbow, other elbow, hand up, hand up. Right, at no point did I change my posture. My weight is still over my hands. One, two, three, four. Then back the other way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Really simple part. I usually do it, if you notice in class, I do it at the end of the abs exercises just to give you that extra little bit. And um, don't make the feet too wide at the back. Yeah, because then you're not you're stabilizing the fat. Have them about shoulder width apart. If you're feeling like a tough, if you're feeling like a tough guy, so not something you are, put your feet together. Uh, so then you actually have to work harder on this. Key bits just don't go like this. Yeah, I want you to be here. So when you're doing it, really nice and a straight line as much as you can actually do without getting monitored on it. So that's part one. Uh, I actually got that from a Pilates instructor. Uh, that's a nice one to do at the end of your abs exercises rather than instead of. Next part is the judo, um, judo flips or twists as I call it. So we're here. So at this point you would be fairly high. All right, so I'm in this posture, my left hand and my right leg swaps and this comes down. Then my left and right swap. Yeah. Then I go back. Yeah, then I can keep going. Okay. So start slowly and just building. So, and you can go one direction, 10 one direction, 10 the other direction. Again, what we're looking for, we're looking for good form. Because we're trying to build a, a strength here that we can actually move without having to like um, um, readdress it every couple of seconds, you know, like we're always stumbling. So what we did the other day, what we're going to do again is we're going to combine the two. So we're going to go here, we're going to go one, two, yeah, down here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, so we're just taking the two things, putting them into one. Why are we doing all that? We just want to get the maximum return for the minimum amount of time that we're actually investing in our exercise. Our fitness is both an requirement, but it's a function of what we do rather than the end result or the end goal. Yeah. Okay. Hope it's useful, guys.